lovelies and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Spirituality Sunday, a video which I upload every Sunday except last Sunday so I'm uploading twice this week <laughs> where we sit down, we chill out and we talk about a spiritual topic and today's topic is about journaling, getting into journaling and five easy ways you can begin. I think, well for me anyway, for many years like I would hear people talking about journaling in the spiritual community and I'd be like oh even though I love writing and I'm a natural writer I was like how do you do it like I think people are scared of doing it wrong I definitely was but I've come to realize on my journey with journaling that there's really no right or wrong way to do it there's so many different ways you can do it but I'm just going to share with you five like quick and easy ways you can just get into it so you can start experimenting with it and find the way which really works for you so if you do enjoy this video please do hit a lovely thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this then please do subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below to join our lovely community i upload spiritual and psychic content on here every single week and let's get into talking about journaling so journaling really is probably one of the most used tools in the spiritual community for manifesting releasing letting go there's so many different ways you can use journaling Journaling. I'm going to share with you five different ways that you can start and let's start with guardian angel journaling now I came across this when I was reading super attractor by Gabby Bernstein and she basically says to sit down with your journal now the best thing to do is to pick a journal which you are going to dedicate journaling to so you don't write anything else in this notebook you write just your journaling for me it's this notebook I don't use this for anything else this is simply when I'm sitting down to journal so you sit down with your journal and you write at the top spirit guides or angels of the highest compassion i now invite you to write through me and you sit and you wait and you close your eyes and you remain open and then you just start writing i feel like that's the number one tip really with journaling is there's no judgment it's yours it's your private space there's no judgment or opinion or doing it wrong or doing it right it's literally just an expression and release of you so through doing this you basically just start writing and usually you'll find with guardian angel or spirit guide journaling that someone else will come through you now that could be quite scary for some and so maybe you don't want to start there but it's just like so it starts becoming a writing that really isn't your own and i actually this is probably one of the first ways i started journaling and it the writing usually looks quite scribbly and um kind of messy but it would be good to do a meditation before you do this kind of journaling just to make sure you're centered you're protected you're aligned um so maybe find online a guardian angel meditation close your eyes write down at the top of the page spirit guides and guardian angels of the highest truth and compassion i now invite you to journal through me and you just start writing now this is really good if you're wanting to know an answer to a specific question if you're looking for guidance if you're wanting to really know that someone's out there and looking after you which they always are this is really the kind of journaling that you'll want to use when you're really looking for that kind of connection with the spiritual realm this is the kind of journaling that you'll want to be using the next one is a manifestation type of journaling. So when it comes to law of attraction, journaling is really kind of key. Um, it's not the only thing you can do, but it's definitely one of them. And I've heard many law of attraction teachers talk about writing down your dream day. So sitting down and writing down what your dream day looks like from beginning to end, what does your bedroom look like when you wake up? What does your dream house look like? What does it smell like? What can you touch? What can you see? What are you wearing? What are you doing? What are you doing today? What do you do? What's the first thing you do when you get up? Who's with you? Like who's in the house? Do you have pets? Do you have animals? Sitting down and really intentionally writing down your dream day in present tense. It's very important when you're doing law of attraction or manifestation journaling that you write in present tense. So I woke up this morning and I did this or I am waking up and I can smell roses from where I burnt my rose candle last night. I can see the sun beaming through my um, newly glazed windows, my blinds are hanging and um, I can see this shimmer of the light just going through them. So you're writing as if it's happening right now. You want to write it as if it is happening because the most powerful words in terms of law attraction are I am because it makes it known to the universe that you are ready and you are open to actually receiving what you want now so start easy you know if you want to do the first half of your day your dream morning your dream evening your dream afternoon your dream date your dream interview if you've got an interview coming up or something special like a special occasion and you want it to go well 
this type of manifestation journaling is perfect for that. So you basically write it down as if it's happening in this moment now or as if it's already happened. So I am so grateful that today went so well. The person who interviewed me really liked me, we got on really well, I was so confident. All of these things because you're basically putting it out there to the universe that's already happened, you're writing it down as if it already is. And yeah, remember at the end to write this or something better because as much as we like to think that we know best, the universe and spirit always have our best interest at heart. So yeah, manifestation journaling is another way to get into journaling quickly and easily. Next is full moon releasing. Now we have a full moon coming up. If you're watching this in present time, the next full moon coming up is the 24th of July. I'm going to be doing another video today, which I said I'm uploading a double video today, and that is going to be quick and easy ways to work with the full moon's energy. So if you want to do full moon journaling this week, then please do head over and watch that video as well, because there'll be some other things you can do if you're short on time and you just want to get into kind of working with the moon energy in an easy way. Full moons are all about releasing, letting go, getting rid of what no longer serves you. And so the really easiest way to full moon journal is to basically write at the top, I now am open to releasing the following. And literally just list everything you are willing to let go of. Go deep, go as much as you want, like literally everything down to the finest tea. This is about letting go, clearing the plate for the energy of the new moon to come in. So you really just wanna release anything that you no longer want. Um, and like I said, there's no right or wrong way to do it. I would highly recommend just writing at the top, um, dear universe and spirit, I am now open to releasing the following and just list everything. Now for me, I always um, safely, <laughs> safely may I add, burn my full moon release list because it's just a representation that I really am willing to let it go. I'm burning it, I'm getting getting rid of it. I'm, you don't need to think about it again. The universe and spirit will take care of that for you. It is your job to stay open to releasing what no longer serves you. So yeah, that one's really quick and easy. It could take a maximum of five minutes if you just want to do a few things. That doesn't take much time at all. If you don't want to burn it, fine, you don't have to. I personally just do as like a real cement of like, I'm getting rid of it. But remember, if you're gonna do that, do it safely. <laughs> and following on from that is new moon intention setting. So in the full moon, we release. In the new moon, we set intentions. So new moons are about new beginnings, new starts. Um, new f new phase of the moon cycle. So this is when we're setting our goals, our intentions of everything we want. So this is where you want to really sit down and you can, you can basically address your journaling to anyone. You don't even have to address it to anyone. I usually write dear universe or dear spirit, depending on how I'm feeling. You can write it to whoever or even to yourself. Um, or you could just address it to no one. You can just start writing. But with new moons, you want to set intentions. So I intend for this to happen. I intend to feel this way. I intend whatever. And you don't need to set dates on it. It doesn't need to be within the next moon cycle. It can just be I intend. And just leave it open because the universe and spirit are always working for you. So once they know what you want, they will work and basically conspire with you to make the best thing happen. And always stay open to this or something better because like I just said, we think we know what we want for us and what's best, but really they know what's the highest of highest good for us. So always stay open, say, I intend to work with you or I intend to co-create with you to um, achieve this or to feel this way or to have this thing, this or something better. And again, once you've done those intentions, you can burn them if you feel safe enough to do so to really release them out into the energy or you can just keep them somewhere safe under your crystals by the windowsill so they can really get the energy of the moon's light on them um but yeah new moon journaling is all about just intention setting goal setting great time to do that so that's another easy way you can get into journaling and the last form of journaling which is probably one that we're all taught about from a young young age is basically journaling out your emotions and this is really perfect if you're feeling lost confused stagnant upset angry you're not sure why or you know why and you're holding on to it and you're harboring onto it and you want to feel better this is perfect for that. From a young age, we're, t we're taught about writing in our diaries, and this kind of is probably the closest to diary entry that you'll get, but this is literally taking your pen and just getting it all out. Just literally every single emotion, and you don't stop until you feel clear. You start by saying, I feel 
and however you feel because that's what's going to really emerge all the emotions so whatever emotion you're dealing with it i feel angry i feel confused i feel this and go from there so start with the feeling of how you feel and go from there because once you acknowledge okay we're addressing this feeling you will start to flood out everything that comes out and you will probably be surprised when you go back to read back your journal that the answers are actually in the page because you get so carried away in the emotion that you basically answer your own questions because the answers are within us so you know you'll answer your own kind of query the thing with journaling is you need to set down that time aside i do advise creating like an ambiance a good smell a nice candle creating a good environment so you feel safe because journaling is um a vulnerable place it can be very private well it is very private it's a very private practice it's very vulnerable your fragile list emotions can come up you're really bearing your soul in your book so it really is important that you feel safe you have safe space no one's going to come in and disturb you if you want to set some nice like music to the background some meditation music or some uplifting um good music some um classical or jazz music something that's really gonna calm you and allow you to be focused or whatever do it do whatever makes the environment feel good and basically journaling is all about you and getting your emotions your manifestations your releases your goals everything out of you onto the paper because the more you hold on to things and you keep them inside they just remain stagnant in your body and your body needs to release so that you have more brain capacity more mind capacity more emotional capacity and you will usually find that after a good journaling session and it can be as long or as short as you want but you will usually find that you feel so much more clearer and better within yourself so i do hope this has helped let me know which journal practice you're going to try if you are going to try one down in the comments below remember to check out my other video i'll leave that linked in the comments below which is quick and easy ways to work with the full moon's energy and i will see you soon for another video lovelies bye